So in this example, again, what the logarithm is asking is 3 raised to what number is 1 over 81? So I'll write it as 3 raised to the x equals 1 over 81. That's exactly what this logarithm is asking. All right. So well, first of all, again, if you guys go back to my 1 to 1 property that I talked about, the exponent, the basis, have to be exactly the same, right? Well, here is a number, and here's a fraction. So we got kind of an issue here. However, can we rewrite a fraction as a whole number? Yes, we can always rewrite it as a fraction, um, or we can always write this fraction as a whole number by using negative powers. Eighty-one to the negative first power. Would you guys agree with me that is equivalent? Yes, because remember, like x to the negative first equals one over x to the first. Yes. Huh? We're going to show how to use this in a calculator. Right now, you're supposed to be doing these without a calculator. I will show you, though, how to do these without a, with a calculator here soon. OK? But does everybody at least see this without a calculator? Now, 3 and 81 are not the same base. But I want to write down, well, let's go back again, since we've been practicing with these with our radicals. 3 squared is 9. 3 cubed is 27. 3 to the fourth power is 81. So therefore, I can rewrite this as 3 to the x equals 3 to the fourth power raised to the negative first power. Then 1 to 1 property, x equals negative 4. So the value is negative 4. Done. OK? So the main important thing when you guys are solving these, or at least finding the answer,